Focus. There it goes. No. Focus. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting video today because it's not like a full room makeover, but it is a makeover in itself. What I decided to do was make over this random closet that we had in our dining room. It was off to the corner and not really related to like the rest of the house, but it just didn't make sense the way it was before as a closet. So what I decided to do was turn it into a coffee nook that involves my love for coffee and tea. It's my love for tea, not my love for Tea. And I was able to do this without spending really any money. The only two things that I had to buy were the puck lights and the kettle. But other than that, everything else I already had. It took me about a day or so, a day and a half, simply because I would stop and then work on something else and then go back to that. But other than that, um, let's just go ahead and get started. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would really love it if you would. I do a lot of like makeover or DIY videos and the random here and there. But if you do like these kinds of videos, then please go ahead and subscribe. Here is what the closet looks like. And as you can see, it looks very sad. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the doors. I didn't know if I was going to leave them on or take them off. But essentially, I decided to just take them off. And they're currently in the laundry room. So whenever we leave, I can just put them back. I will be taking all of this off and essentially reusing it so that I don't actually have to use or buy anything brand new. I just have to take the screws out and then move that to the lower part because that's going to be, I guess, the table or the top part where my items are going to rest on. Like I mentioned, I wanted to use this and put it down here so that way I didn't have to buy a new piece of wood. And honestly, I'm pretty glad that this came off super easily. It wasn't really attached by anything, so it was kind of rather easy to just remove. Now, I can't say the same thing about the little edges on the side. Now, I did not have a crowbar, so I used the flathead screwdriver and it worked because this was a small job, but I would highly suggest to use a crowbar and please, please do not try to do this very forcefully or really fast because you will end up punching holes through the wall. So I took my time and I followed all the steps necessary. I wasn't forcing anything to avoid any holes in the wall. It took a moment, but I was able to remove it without any damage to the wall. The next step was just to spackle the remaining um, sections that I guess were a little damaged from the removal, which honestly is not that big of a problem. You just spackle over it and then sand it. I decided to go for this green because it's very rich and it almost looks dark and moody, which is kind of what I wanted since I've always gone for white. I wanted to try a color that was kind of a little different and out of my comfort zone. This is also the green that I'm going to be using in the kitchen and the dining room. And I believe maybe in Anthony's room, but we will see. If you've seen my previous room makeover, which was my bedroom, you can see that I used the same roller to paint the entire room and I don't understand why I am using it again, considering that I have big size rollers that would have helped me finish this a lot faster. The next step was to put the little panels that were on the side and just move them down a little bit further so that I could rest the shelf on top.
If you were to look at the closet again from the beginning, essentially what I did was pretty much just bring everything from the top to the bottom. I stole this shelf from another closet that we weren't really using, so I thought, you know what, let me make this as budget friendly as possible and reuse it in the coffee nook. Now, this is probably one of my favorite parts about any makeover, which is the decorating. I got these coasters from the thrift store back in Utah, and I believe it was like four of them for one dollar. You can see that I'm rearranging things in this specific clip, however, they aren't going to look like that in the end. My amazingly talented brother made these for me, and honestly, I love them. Okay, so this little doohickey is actually a bathroom, I'm not sure what it is, but it goes on your sink. However, I spray painted it and I'm going to be using it to put my coffee cups on it. I also got these coasters from the dollar store, four for a dollar. I'm going to be using one of the cups to store my sugar packets. This is a frother that Anthony ordered from Amazon and it works really, really well. Here's the star of the show, which Anthony also gave me, I believe for Christmas a few years ago. I was going to use these little hanging baskets that I got from Family Dollar, however, they didn't end up working for what I needed them for, but they're a good idea if you want to save some space. I also thought I was going to keep the microwave in here, but I didn't. Do you guys remember that thrift flip I did? Well, I ended up painting the wood green to go with the coffee nook, and honestly, I think I like it better this way. Because the closet does look a little bit dark, Due to the paint, I'm going to be using some puck lights that I ordered from Amazon and honestly these work really well. You can use them pretty much anywhere that you want to light up. And the beautiful thing is they are battery operated so you don't have to deal with any electrical work. And another thing is that they can just be turned on by pressing on them or they have the cutest little remote. And honestly I think this is what sold me on them. They do have four brightness levels so 10%, 40%. 80 and 100. They also have a timer. I'm going to be using command strips on the back simply because I want to be able to take these when we leave and I also don't want to damage their wall. Make sure that you put the wall side on the wall and the sticky side to the item you're hanging up. I also wanted to add two puck lights at the top part simply because this space gets zero light and it makes the top section look really dark but after I added the puck lights I could see a huge difference. One of the things I liked is how easy it is to remove this and even after they're put up you don't have to worry about taking them down each time just because you just remove it, change the batteries and then put it back. I knew I needed the little remote to be stationary, otherwise it was going to get lost. So what I thought was let me put a command strip on the back and attach it to the wall. I didn't know if I wanted it to be on the inside or on the wall, but essentially I ended up with wanting to put it on the end just because it was easy to see in case, you know, like my sister or anyone that comes over wants to make coffee, it's right in a place that's easily seen.
let's remember what it looked like before. for this video I hope that you liked it and I hope that you get some ideas and even if you don't have a closet in like your kitchen or your dining room but you do have like this little section that you want to turn into something why not do like a drink nook if you don't drink coffee you can do just like hot chocolate or other beverages thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you subscribe and that you also follow me over on my Instagram which is where I post a lot of pictures that aren't always related to my videos but anyway, if you want to give me a follow there too, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one. See ya! Do any of you guys have grandparents that used to say if you like did this to something and if it spun around it was like you were having a girl or if it went like back and forth then it means you're having a boy. Not that I'm pregnant or anything. No. Does anyone have those grandparents or is it just mine? <laughs>